How's it going guys? In today's video, I am bringing you an operator guide on the operator Ying. Now starting with her loadout, she does get the T95 LSW light machine gun. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, it is kind of a weak machine gun. It does have low damage and a low rate of fire. And on top of that, you get major recoil with this gun. And the only plus to using this gun is you do get a 100 round magazine with it. And later on, they are going to update it so it does a lot more damage than it does now. But for now, it is a really weak primary weapon. And now for her second choice, which isn't that great either, it is the 612 shotgun. Now the shotgun is a semi-automatic shotgun, but honestly it doesn't really do much. It's actually pretty average. Now everything from the magazine, the damage, the range, it honestly all is pretty average to me. I don't really see anything special to this gun. Now that's why for me, when it does come to picking the light machine gun or the shotgun, honestly I will pick the light machine gun. Even though the light machine gun itself isn't the greatest, it is the better options out of the two. Now for Ying sidearm, she does only get one choice, which is the Q929. There's not much really to say about the sidearm. It's your basic sidearm. It'll get the job done when you need it to. It has your average magazine size and your average damage. So that's all I'm going to say about her sidearm. Now for her gadgets, she does have breaching charges or claymores. Personally, I do like the breaching charges as it does match Ying's playstyle. Ying is a more aggressive operator. She's kind of like Ash. You do need to be really aggressive with her. And those breaching charges could help out in a lot of situations. And on top of that, it does go really well with her special ability. That's why I suggest picking the breaching charges over the claymore. Now, Ying's special ability is her Gondilla flash grenades. So the flash grenades themselves are pretty unique in a lot of ways. It is a lot different than the regular flash grenades. For starters, it doesn't just explode one time. It actually releases a cluster of flash grenades. Second, you could actually delay the grenade into three settings. One being a one second delay, two being a two second delay, and the third one being the three second delay. And on top of this, the grenade actually rolls pretty far. Also, you could actually plant the flash grenade in any window or breakable surface like a fuse charge. Also, keep in mind that you can't detonate it like a fuse charge. You actually have to wait for the timer to run out on it. And the reason these flash grenades are really unique to Ying is the fact that she does not get blind from the flash grenades since she's wearing those glasses. So she can literally run in as the flashes are going off in the room. She does get three grenades per round and it can be destroyed by Jaeger's ADS. So it's best to use them wisely and efficiently. One last thing to keep in mind is that the grenades themselves, the effect doesn't really last that long. Once the cluster is gone, your enemy is most likely not blind anymore. Now I'm going to be talking about Ying's role in the team. If you are going to play Ying, you cannot be really passive with her. You really need to be aggressive like if you're playing Ash. Now Ying doesn't have the best arsenal used, so it's a lot harder to win a gunfight with her. But she does have those Candela charges which really help out when it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle. But even though you do have those Candela charges, I don't suggest using it on multiple enemies because the effects actually last a lot less than you think. Now another major issue I had with her is that sometimes when I do throw the Candela charges, it doesn't actually affect the enemy, even though the cluster was around their area. So now the mistakes I actually see people make with Ying is pretty obvious one is throwing the Candela charge and not going inside the room. So the whole point of using that Candela charge is that you can kill your enemy as they're blind. If you literally just throw the grenade and don't run inside the room, so you're pretty much just wasting the gadget. Now a second big mistake I see people make as they play Ying is that they like to throw the grenade as their teammates are running inside the room. You gotta keep in mind that Ying's gadget can actually blind your whole team so if you throw one cluster grenade in their vicinity, everyone but you will be blind. And this could be really dangerous especially in a gunfight. Now I'm gonna be rating Ying on three things which is loadout, gadget, and team efficiency. Now for Ying's loadout I am gonna give her a 5 out of 10. I do believe that they gave Ying a pretty weak loadout. She only gets one handgun. She gets two basic primary weapons that are pretty average. The LMG isn't that great. It lacks rate of fire and firepower and the recoil is pretty bad on it. And that 100 round magazine doesn't really make up for both of those. And as for her shotgun, it's kind of the same. It doesn't really have any good attributes to it. It doesn't have a lot of spread up close and it doesn't have much distance to it. So I think that shotgun overall is pretty weak. Now to me, the only thing good about Ying's loadout is her claymores and breaching charges. I think those go very well with her, as she is a very aggressive operator. Now I do think that her LMG does have a lot of potential to it if they increase the damage or rate of fire. But how it stands, it's easy to see why she gets a 5 out of 10 for her loadout. Now for Ying's gadget, I am going to give her a 7 out of 10. Now I do see a lot of potential in Ying's gadget. The one thing I wish they really did to it was make it a detonated flash grenade. And I think this alone would easily make her a high pick rate. And another major issue I have with the Candela charges is the fact that Jaeger's ADS could take all three of them out pretty easily. But don't get me wrong, I do really enjoy her gadget when it is used right. I like playing really aggressive with her. But just adding that simple change of a detonated grenade instead of a timer, I think would make a world of a difference in her operator ability. 
But overall, if the gadget is used right, I think her special ability is pretty useful, and that's why I give her a 7 out of 10 for her gadget. Now for her team efficiency, I am going to give her a 5 out of 10. The reason for such a low score is the fact that her Gundela charges could easily blind her teammates. And I think that alone takes away a lot of her team efficiency. Now the Gundela charges are only useful if you are running inside the room as they're being activated. And since Ying is the only one not affected by the Gundela charges, her teammates can't really join her. And it kind of eliminates a lot of team aspect when it comes to attacking. Also, I feel she would be a lot more efficient with her team if they made it so she can't get blinded by her teammates flashbangs or Blitz's flash charge. But putting these negative aspects aside, I do think that Ying is a really good breacher to have on your team. I just wish that her gadget was a lot more efficient with her team. That's why she gets a 5 out of 10 for her team efficiency. Now rounding all 3 scores up, she does get a 6 out of 10 for her overall score. Well that is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Now if you guys do want to be notified anytime my videos go up, please hit that bell button and subscribe. Also, if you guys did enjoy the video in any way, please hit that like button. It really helps out and I really appreciate it. And once again, guys, thanks for watching.